Okay, today for Losing My Virginity, we are going to be playing Hate Plus. Now, I know nothing about this game other than it doesn't support a regular aspect ratio for your computer, and it has anime Japanese RPG looking graphics, which is what kind of drew me into it in the first place. I saw it on Steam, it didn't have many anything online, so I just added it to my wish list and somebody bought it for me. So, let's figure out what this game's all about, why not, right? Let's do it! Excite. Extreme excite. Incoming message. Oh my god. Hey, I know you hate this kind of shit and prefer to stay anonymous, but the guys you did that last job for, the Seiju Colony Historical Society, they were pestering me for some details about you for a press release. Can you fill in whatever? I don't really care. Just give them something so they'll get off my case, okay? Uh, question one, which Al, which A, which Al, which AI did you get the documents from? Hyunai. How would you describe her attitude toward you? Oh, flirty for sure. She's like, uh -huh. What pronouns should we use for you? She. If you had to choose, what year would you rather live in? Holy shit, guys. Oh, I wish I was on stream so I could give you guys the... The choice is here, but I say 2027. Okay, great. That's all of it. I'll send it off to them now. You're still, what, three days or so away from Earth? I'll talk to you then. Dispatch control out. Oh my god. She's hot. What is going on? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Jeez, I'm so sorry. If you're saying something to me, I can't hear you at all. Oh jeez, I'll explain, I'll explain. So, um, well, I tried installing that advanced dictionary you got for me. And, uh, well, I couldn't get it to work. Even the builds that were supposed to be fine just keep giving me an architecture not supported error. I don't know why. So I tried to recompile my language processing function so I could support it, but I don't really understand how AIs work very well, I guess. Anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is, I guess I sort of just broke it more. This bitch. Like I said before, if you're saying anything, I can't hear you. And every time I try to run an English to Korean translation, it just comes out as nonsense. For example, if I try to translate your ship's name from English, I get la la la, which I really can't understand. Can't really understand. It's just like before when I was back on the magwawawa. I couldn't parse what you were saying. Sorry, are you mad at me? Sh oh. Hmm. Let's see a response. Oh. Let's be mean to her. Yes, I'm mad. Really? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Please don't be mad. We'll be able to get it fixed once we get to Earth, right? I don't know. Oh, very well. I sure hope so. Well, I waited over 600 years to meet you, didn't I? Three days? That's nothing. Anyway, there's something else you should know. While I was looking through my code, trying to debug my damage, I found a big- <laughs> I thought it's, <laughs> that it's a big cock! I found a big block of data that I thought was garbage. It's not garbage, though. It's data! I'm changing the way I say that word. For some reason, it seems to be embedded in my source. I'm not really sure why. It's not part of my memories. It's in the actual machine code for some reason. Um, the important thing is though, I think it's log files from the Magwa. I'm just gonna call it Magwa. <laughs> they have date stamps on them and they seem to be from before the year O. Well, I can't actually read them without extracting them, but that's what the index says. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. What happened in the year O that made everyone forget it was always a big mystery to me. Maybe these will explain. Here's what I'm thinking. Maybe we can't communicate, but we could still go through this together. What do you think, Miss Investigator? Can I be your sidekick again? Oh. Let's see. I'll be in charge. Get on your knees, bitch. Fine, fine. Still, let's investigate them together. Let me explain how this will work then. I'm afraid I can't just extract all of them at once. I can explain it to you if you want, but it's kind of boring. I don't care. Very well, that's what I thought. 
We'll have to extract them a few at a time. Um, I think I used up most of today's power up running debugging though. Oh! Oh, that error. So we'll only be able to do a little bit, but here, there's always tomorrow. Anyway, I'll let you decide which log files you want to extract first. Then we can read them together. Hmm. Schoolgirl outfit. Could you click on me, please? I clicked on her. Yay, it works! Right, very well. It's a little bit like on the Magua. I'll use that as an indicator that I want your attention. Well, that's all. Just click on me if you want to talk in the future. Anyway, let's go back to investigating together. Okay. Warning, ship is currently running in emergency power mode. Non-essential non -essential computer use quota in effect. My apologies for the trouble. We can change what she's wearing. Oh my god. Pale bride. Oh, this is interesting. I have no idea what this game is about still, and I've been playing it for like at least five minutes. What should we make her wear? Scientist. She can be a scientist for now. So you're interested in pur purchasing a hard shell frame for an AI construct. We've evaluated your questionnaire and we've attached a pamphlet for the model which we think suits your needs. Let's see. So some fucking advertisement about the Marigold. Full sensory feedback. The face that launched a thousand starships. Newly upgraded. Etc. Awesome. Return to menu. What do I do now? Okay. Emergency diagnostic. We're running diagnostics on he and I. No errors found. What do I do in this game? I'm confused. Okay. Extract new messages. Records Office Amendment of the Education Act. Status after extraction power. So, bad idea. Bad data. Bad idea. Okay, let's, let's do all of these. Can we not do more? Right, let's commit to extraction. What are we doing? I don't know what's going on in this game, but it has cool music. Okay, so... Korean. Chief Counselor Smith. What, I click on it? Oh, that's him! This is the first time we've read about this person. Click their name again in another log file and I'll remind you about them. Okay. We have time for one more order of business today. Counselor O's. No file. Proposed amendment for the Education Act. The text of it can be found in the third appendix of the, session, of the session's agenda. I'll now leave the floor to the remarks of Counselor O. No remarks. It's just general housekeeping shit for the university. Counselor, mute security. Wow. This person's creepy. Um, great. I'm going to abstain voting and decline to pay any more attention to this session, if that's okay with you. Counselor. It doesn't affect security. I vote. I don't care. Does the rest of the council object to bring it to a vote? Not here. Oh. 
Okay. I object. I don't understand the purpose of the proposed change about language rules. Is it really necessary? No photo. I don't think... Can you explain that? It's just some minor changes to general requirements. I don't understand what they're talking about. I don't think we need the vocabulary lesson counselor. Etc, etc. What is this? She's not very attractive. This was all requested and drafted by Mangwagwagwa University President. She assures me that it's just a minor change to allow for students to get a more rounded education. What exactly is more rounded about forcing engineers into pointless general classes? Everyone takes general classes. Oh, but learning Chinese characters is silly. Look how mad she is. She's so fucking mad about it. She's like, what the fuck? As I understand it, the change is to allow general programs to include texts written in Chinese characters. Is that right? Chinese characters aren't taught in public schools. The other counselors see where this is going, yes? Does it really need to be spelled out why it would be a good thing to make the educational requirements for noble professors less accessible to any old peasant at the public school? Whoa, mute. Back. Back then really was harsh. Back then? What? Didn't I say I wanted to be in 2000 something, not 4000? What the hell? really feel that strongly about this? Really? Is this whole game just reading? Because I don't like to read, especially not out loud. Okay, everyone is in favor. Ugh, it's not a vote. Fine, the Counselor of Engineering and Science abstains. I don't care that much. Let the record show that the vote was seven in favor and one abstain. The amendment passes and will go to the president for signing. With that, I move to close council for the day to resume next Monday. Okay. Uh, unread. Let's crush a rebellion. How are you, Miss Hill? I asked, so young. What? Oh, after showing up on her living room computer screen, her scream, her very first words after good evening counselor were, I'm having a major crisis with my husband. This is his husband. It didn't seem like she was very serious, which is good since I kind of like him. Go on, I said. You've heard of those fashionable paper lanterns, right? The ones that are genuine paper. They're sold in the upper court plaza. Not really, no. Well, they let through this gorgeous red light. I interrupted her with a yes. I know what paper lanterns are like. So what's the crisis? Don't you think they'd be perfect for the living room? My husband objects because they cost about 50,000 silver per. He thinks it's too extravagant, she says. Whatever that means. I don't really see how that's a crisis. <laughs> I like her attitude. I, I like this girl. I like this girl. She was flirty with me before, remember? Um, does that man have any idea how much money you make? She replied, I don't think so. You know how men are. Of course, Mr. Kim is the kind to get jealous of his wife making more money than him, which is pretty silly. He's merely a teacher and So Young is the counselor of security's top lieutenant. He needs to get over it. I said pretty much that to her. I don't know. I think this extremely minor dispute about interior decorating may be fatal to our relationship. If we get a divorce, can I sleep in your home? I was about to say something, but I got cut off by one of her young maids suddenly popping up to deliver teas. Thanks, Miss Lim. This is Miss Lim. She's hot. Uh, said Seo Young, dismissing her. You know you already sleep in my home, right? I responded once the girl left. With all due respect, counselor, she said, this is my home. How do you figure that? 
I told her, only because I bought it for your great-great-great-grandfather, I don't think you would have liked the old place. I think you have closets in this place bigger than it was. Not much room for those servants, either. How old, I wonder. You're awfully old. <laughs> she wonders how old. Wow, leave it to Mute, too. She's really different than the Mute I knew. Leave it to me to remember a debt for, she paused, counting it on her fingers. Centuries? That would be 200 years ago. Not that long, I told her. She was amused. You're awfully old, she said. I replied, but you're still just a young girl. Wait, hey, is that a gray hair I see? She protested in disbelief, but I didn't even have to make it up. She totally is starting to go gray. I mean, she's like 38, so it's hardly strange. No way, she said, getting bothered. Maybe I'll stay with my husband after all. You're mean. Because he's too nice to make fun of your childish response to aging, I asked. No, she said. Because he's got terrible eyesight. Okay, okay, I said amused. Let's get to business, alright? She nodded, turning serious. What's the first order then? Well, wanna crush a rebellion, I asked. She got excited again. Do I ever? Can we actually do that, she asked. But with a smile on her face at the thought of it. These democratic... D democratic? Democracy ag agitators... I can't, I can't read after reading for a little bit. I get like really, it degrades. Like how well I can read out loud. I've been causing no end of stress for the past, what, two years? I bet they're the cause of this gray hair. She paused, taking a sip of her tea. Can we destroy them, please, please? Well, okay, I've got an idea and I think I can get Chief Counselor Smith. Okay, and Counselor Yang. On board pretty easily. Let's call it. How about Operation Get Back at the odds, f at the odds, at the idiots for giving the young lady chief security officer Hyo gray hair prematurely. I said it was a joke, but like we both, <laughs> but like we both knew full well that the stakes, that the stakes here were pretty high. This rebellion has been starting to get dangerous. Oh yes, she said with a happy smile. This is the nicest gift you could have ever given me, mute. Let's crush a rebellion. Okay. So, I'm not gonna just keep reading these. I want to see what I should be doing. Create new save file. So what are we just doing? It's just like, that's what we do? Emergency diagnostic. We're just running another diagnostic on my chick. No errors found. I don't really get this game. We're just like... It makes no sense. Extract new messages. So what if I just keep extracting messages? How many messages? Commit to an extraction. I'm gonna run all the way out of power. And then I'm gonna read one more random one that looks interesting. And if nothing happens after that, I'm just gonna go like, yeah, this is a weird game. Quite weird. Oh, it's water after all that reading. Okay. Recently extracted. So cool. Wow, she really writes cutely. Uh, who is this? She's cute! Dear Diary, ah, today was such an awesome day. I had to work at the family stall in the market again, and that super pretty woman came by to get flowers again. I made up my mind this morning that if she came back this week too, I'd say more to her than just welcome and the price. And, and, and this time I really did, and she was super nice to me. Welcome, I greeted her when she showed up at the same time she had for the past three weeks. Um, the usual then, miss? Yes, please, she said in a really gorgeous voice. It's a little bit husky and really pretty. And oh, speaking of pretty, I figured out why she's always so she always looks so glamorous. It's because she really is an actress. I bet she always plays like really cool characters. She could do it so well. Aww. 
But I didn't find that out right away, so I didn't know how far out of my depth I was yet. While I was cutting the stems of the flowers she always asks for, I decided to think of something to say. So um, I guess you really like Camillas, don't you? They're really pretty. I think they seem to suit you. I babbled, unable to think of any of anything coherent in time. Hmm, she asked, and suddenly I got really tense. Did she think I was an idiot? Did I just make an idiot of myself babbling like that? I was sure I had, and she was judging me harshly. I think I blushed a little, but then she smiled at me. Oh my, no, they're not for me. I don't think they suit me at all. I bundled the flowers and handed them to her, avoiding eye contact and not saying anything. I'd done enough damage, I thought. Then when she then when she took them, she held them up to my face, and I got a close look at her hand. Normally you couldn't see it because of her really long sleeves, but oh my gosh, they were really pretty too, and really clean and smooth looking, and even and pretty much the exact opposite of mine. She even had really bright red nail polish, and I was really envious, envious of how cool she was. I was still trying to avoid eye contact, but she stared at me as if she was sizing me up. Hmm, yes, I think Camillas go far better than contrasted with cute flowers. When contrasted with cute flowers, personally, she said. See? Perfect match. Huh? Oh, ah. Uh, I murmured in confusion. But then, in a couple seconds, realized she was talking about me. Oh my gosh! What a cool line. Wasted on me? I definitely, definitely know I blushed more at that and looked away. I was completely, completely out of my depth, and I knew she knew it, and was playing with me. Thanks, I said quietly. There was a long pause where I didn't want to say anything more, embarrass myself, and definitely didn't want to look up, but she just kept standing there. I wondered why she was doing that, and considered it was entirely just to make me squirm. Was this revenge for saying anything at all? I should have said nothing, I thought to myself, then I wouldn't be embarrassed then I wouldn't be embarrassing in front of such a cool person. Why won't she go and let me wither away from shame on my own? Why didn't she go, I kept thinking. Um, pardon me, she said, but how much money do I owe you? She's really charming, someone like that. At the moment, I just turned completely and totally red. Oh my gosh, I wanted to die of embarrassment right there on the spot. I could not have been more embarrassed. Ah, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Just a second, that's ten silver, please. Sorry, I stammered. And then I had a second, crazier thought. If I couldn't be any more embarrassed, then what did I have to be afraid of? Um, so, who are the flowers for, I asked, forcing myself to look at her. Someone important to you? She paid me and shook her head. Well, uh, I suppose he's good a good enough friend, but it's hardly what you're thinking of. They're for the play we're running. The actor who performs opposite of me needs to wear one in his hair for the third act. It's just not the same without real flowers. If you use fakes, You'll lose your sense of playful elegance. It's awfully important. Oh, I said. I'm not really sure what she meant by that last part, but I didn't really want to admit it. So you're an actress then. It was unexpected, but I wasn't surprised. She was certainly pretty and calm and way cool enough to be one. I was even more amazed that someone like that could be talking to me so out of my depth. I am, she said, managing to make it sound so cool, so dramatic, just like an actress would, I guess. Are you a fan of the theater, then? I turned blank. What could I say? No, just a peasant. I could never afford that. Crossed my mind, but would just be too much, and I really wanted to impress her. Or at least, not make her turn away in disgust. I tried to think of something. Um, I don't know, I said honestly. But I do like dramas. Oh, well, they're not an awful lot like that, she said. But it didn't sound too dismissive. And I couldn't have been more embarrassed anyway. What the fuck am I doing? I'm just like reading this shit. Okay. I'm gonna finish it. <sighs> Perhaps would you like to see our performance tomorrow night then? So you can judge for yourself? You can see if we embody playful elegance with your own eyes. Which are rather pretty when you look up, I might add. I didn't know what to say to that. Ah, uh, well, um, uh, if it's not too much trouble, was all I could think of. Hardly, she said. What's your name again? Um, it's Majina. I trailed off. Oh, that's a cute name. It fits very well, Miss Majina, she said. Still so cool. If it pleases you, I'll have your name be put on the guest list. It's at the Silver Eternity Theater at 7 tomorrow. I'd love to see you come. She's so cool. 
Could I really turn down a request like that? No. Okay, um, I'll see you there, I said. Goodbye now. Take care. Cute flowers, she said. Then I walked away. Oh my gosh, so cool. <laughs> I don't even know how to deal with any of this, and I'm kind of scared to go tomorrow. And I know I'm definitely way, way, way out of my depth. But still, she's an actress, and she was nice to me despite me being an idiot on her. Oh my gosh, what an awesome day. I just can't deal with this. Even if I'm scared, I really, really can't wait to see her again. Lucky. Get chance. Get chance! Yeah! Ah, she's just so cool. She is cool. Said my robot. Starship White Princess. Okay, so... Let's put her back as a schoolgirl. So I don't know, I'm not really sure what this game is about. But it seems to be set in the future. You get to make decisions. And you hang out with this robot chick who supposedly has been trying to meet me for hundreds of years. I don't know, it's really cheap on Steam if you guys want to check it out. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys again soon and maybe I'll play a little bit more of this to try to find out what exactly it's actually about. Bye guys!